uh, about the effect of the FISA law and the president, uh, whether the president has the authority to violate that law. I would just like to associate myself with uh, Senator Feinstein's excellent description of congressional intent when passing FISA. And I must say that your answer to her appeared to be directly contrary to the Youngstown approach to executive power, which you and I discussed in detail yesterday and you appeared to accept as important and valid law. The Supreme Court has held that executive power is affected very significantly by what Congress does. So it sounds like overnight you've gone from being agnostic, as you and I have gone back and forth since our first meeting on this question, to holding a, what, what is a rather disturbing view. You have said today that you believe the President may violate a statute if he is acting within his Article II authority. Now that position, which I find alarming, makes it extremely important to know what, what you believe the exact scope of the President's Article II authority to be. So are you telling the committee, Judge, that any time the President is acting to safeguard the national security against a terrorist threat, he does not have to comply with statutes? You've suggested that I've gone overnight from being an agnostic uh, to being a heretic. And, um, Explain why you haven't. I haven't. I think all I'm saying is that I obviously I recognize the force of Justice Jackson's three-step <coughs> approach, um, but I recognize also that each branch has its own sphere of authority that is exclusive to it. For example, um, just to take an example that has nothing to do with the subject under discussion <coughs> immediately, you have the exclusive authority to vote me up or vote me down for any reason or no reason. Um, if I am displeased with the result and displeased with the reason, um, I could not validly go down the street to the courthouse and file a lawsuit and claim that I had been denied a right, even if I got some judge who was willing to entertain the lawsuit and even if I prevailed. There are a lot of ways you could describe that outcome, but the rule of law isn't one of them because the authority belongs only to you. There are areas of presidential authority. I also said that we are not dealing here with necessarily with areas of black and white. I understand that, uh, which is why it's very important that push not come to shove on these questions because the result can be not simply discord, but disaster. Well, Judge, you're, uh, I, I'll take your, your, your example. In the case of the Youngstown case, people did have the right to go down to a courtroom. And they did it. And they won. And Justice Jackson indicated a three-part test, which your analysis today, I think, renders essentially meaningless. So I believe that, that this is contradictory, and it, and it does trouble me.